All right, good morning. Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke. We're going to finish chapter 8, verses 51 to 56. I promised we would find out what happens when Jesus gets there. Now, the girl has died. Jesus was delayed coming. He was busy healing and helping other people, but she died on the way, and they said, don't, he doesn't need to come anymore. She's dead. This is over. It's not over. Verse 51 and following. When he came into the house, he permitted no one to go in except Peter, James, and John, and the father and mother of the girl. Now all wept and mourned for her, but he said, Do not weep, she is not dead, but sleeping. Now look at the reaction. They ridiculed him, knowing that she was dead. But he put them all outside, took her by the hand, and called, saying, Little girl, arise. Then her spirit returned, she arose immediately, and he commanded that she be given something to eat. And her parents were astonished, but he charged them to tell no one what had happened. So here's the case. Jesus comes anyway, and they say, well, you can't do anything. She's dead. Now, are they right or not? They are right in that she's dead. This, this girl has died. She is done. She is dead. But Jesus says, don't be afraid, but believe. By the way, did you ever notice there's kind of a, a combination here? We often see these two things put together. Don't be afraid, but believe. And our fear our unreason, unreasonable fear can inhibit the operation of faith. So that's why Jesus tells us, don't be afraid, just believe. So he puts them out of the house, but he keeps the mother and father. He goes in with his, uh, some of his disciples, and he says, she's sleeping. They're laughing at him. They're laughing at Jesus. Imagine this, people laughing at Jesus. But that's what's happening. There's kind of a funeral going on. As soon as somebody dies in the Jewish world, in this time, you know, they hired, they had hired mourners standing by and they come in and make a big noise and make the biggest kind of uh, awful noise. And so they, they were already there and they were already and they were ready to begin. You know, they want to be paid. They laughed at Jesus. They ridiculed him because they knew she was dead and, and they were right. She was dead, but they were in the presence of the man who gives life, the God who gives life. So a little girl arise. Then it says her spirit returned. Literally, it says her breath returned. And so God puts together again the, the dust of the ground, the, the, the body of the dead girl. The breath of life from God comes and it comes together. And boom, the little girl is alive again. And so that's what you have. Immediately, she arose and he says, you know, let's give her something to eat. And on we go. So Jesus leaves there in the most victorious and powerful way. When he leaves, this young girl is alive. Well, let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for uh, being our God, giving us help, watching over. And now, Lord, we, we are thankful that you can raise the dead. Here's one of those cases in the Bible where you literally raise the dead. Praise be to you. And Lord, help us to always be in your will Help us not to think something's too hard for you because it's not. It's never too hard for you. Now, bless, Lord, we pray. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Friend, we serve this God, this God who delivers, who raises the dead. May his blessing be with you today.